What's going on, everyone? It's APOC, your favorite host and jealous hater, and welcome to the channel. So last time on the Jacksons of Atlanta, Mahogany and the so-called pastor Justin decided to tell all of us that they don't owe anyone anything at any given time or any explanations whatsoever. Which, as I've said before, is really messed up because those same people that they're telling that they don't owe anything to are the same ones that are filling their pockets with donations and gifts. Bruh. I mean, this may just be me here, but I would be offended if somebody said that to me after giving them my hard-earned money. Just saying. Especially because a community is what makes like a YouTuber or a content creator or an influencer. You have to have that following in order to thrive on social media. And without them, you're nothing. Kind of like six years ago when Justin and Mahogany first posted up on another channel called The Anointed Place, which didn't really seem to work out, I guess, because there's only like six videos and they haven't posted since 2016. So I guess the whole church thing failed, probably because they don't even understand scripture, couldn't even get known the ark right. So I'm just going to assume here, since all that failed, they decided to you know, dive into family vlogging, child exploitation, faking the loss of children, and much, much more. Oh, and then use God to justify it all. Basically implying that God told them to do what they're doing. No, that's gross, man. But what I will say from those old videos, Mahogany looks much happier there. Because present day, she kind of looks dead inside, man. And if she didn't fake a loss alongside with Justin, I would actually feel bad for her but I don't. But anyways, they brought their new baby home, right? And they still haven't addressed anything at all. They keep like beating around the bush, being all vague and cryptic and whatnot. But uh, that's what we're gonna dive into today. All right, let's get it. Uh, listen, the day has come that we finally get to go home. There it is, the teaser. And then the intro, we're already starting this off with typical family vlogger garbage. Welcome back to the Jacksons of Atlanta YouTube channel, guys. Listen. Uh, here come the shameless plugs. Big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Turn those post notifications when you do it. Make sure you comment what? Down below. Yeah, what you should do is just not comment on their channel at all anymore because all it does is bring up their engagement. That's what they're probably trying to do anyways. They're trying to get their engagement up to boost their channel, to boost their videos out there so that they can get paid. And by keeping everyone in the dark and not answering anything and not addressing nothing people are going to ask questions or call them out but all that does is make them more money so just stop asking them questions stop calling them out on their page because they're not going to do anything they're not going to answer you nothing they're going to ignore you but that helps boost their channel if anything comment on my channel of what you think about them what you think of this video everything all of the above right do that instead because that will boost my channel that will boost my videos out there so people can see Justin and Mahogany for what they are, which are just greedy scumbags using fake loss for their own personal gain, which is just appalling. It's one of the worst things you can do. And it triggers so many of us who have lost our own babies and they're making a joke out of it. They're mocking us. And off camera, behind the scenes, they're probably laughing at all of you who are making comments on their videos. So again, stop commenting. Stop boosting their engagement. Do that here. Call them out here. Talk your mess here. Ask your questions here. Do that instead because that will boost what we're doing, our message. That will help us expose them further and reach new and even more people. And I know it's hard not to want to call them out on their channel because, I mean... I would do it too, but I know that it just makes them money. So I just make these videos instead. So again, just stop it because they're probably just laughing at all of you who are leaving comments. Again, comment here because they can't do anything about it and they won't make any money off of you. When it comes to engagement on social media, it literally means everything. You already know you can send us a text message. I know it's at the bottom of the screen. Oh God, the text message thing again. Oh my God, Justin Mahogany replied to me. Like I said before, it's probably not even them. It's probably automated to just automatically reply back. You think just and Mahogany want to engage with anyone? No, they just want to make money off of you guys. Text us uh, so you can stay up to date with all that's going on with the Jacksons of Atlanta. Why would they need to text you? They know what you're doing every single day because you post on multiple platforms every single day. Which, by the way, is a huge red flag because when you lose a child, you want to stay away from social media. You want to stay away from people. You are just shut down. And I don't care what anyone says. If you haven't lost a baby, you don't know what that's like. We finally get to go 
home. You know, you would think that after losing a child, apparently, right? You would think that you wouldn't really be vlogging. You would just focus on you, your wife, and your one baby that survived and make sure that you're all ready to go home and be safe and just be with your whole family, with your other children. But no, instead he whips out the vlog camera. That was the lady, as y'all know, y'all just seen, she came in, basically just gave me my heart and discharge paperwork. Now, if you lost a baby, wouldn't there be more than just discharge paperwork? I don't know, just saying. Now, I don't think you said nothing else once you signed after that, did you say anything? Mm -mm. So one thing that I've noticed with this hospital room is that it's really, really bare. Where are all the flowers and cards you would have received from your friends and family if you lost a baby? Because when you lose a baby, especially like in that stage, because I've experienced this, we had friends and family come over to visit with us and to kind of go through it with us as well. You know, again, it's very bare for people who are there for so long. I think they're making it seem like they were there much longer than they're actually saying, which can easily be done when you control your own narrative. I mean, they edit all their videos and they push it out anytime they want and have full control of whatever gets pushed out. So they know what they're doing. And you know, I really don't want to hear, but APOC, maybe people did come and they just shut off the camera so that they could be together. No, not at all. Justin is literally vlogging as he's trying to prepare to go home after losing his child. He's been vlogging. He's been fine. Mahogany too. They're not grieving, but you don't think if they actually lost a baby that Justin would have whipped out the camera and filmed everybody crying and grieving together? No, he would have used that as clickbait. That's what he does. He's scummy like that, dude. He's like the Prince family level, you know, Damian Bianca. He's up there with them. He doesn't make as much money and he's not as big, but point is, is like he's a copy and paste version of them. But I can 100% guarantee you if they lost a baby, if they really did, they did not. That's not what I'm saying. But I can guarantee you that if they did, Justin would have capitalized on it and used his clickbait. My guy just pushed out a video about how his baby can't breathe or whatever. And you did his clickbait and put on the thumbnail. One thing that I need people to understand and learn, and this is through my experience of dealing with family vloggers and making content on them for you know a couple of years now, is that there are no limits with them. You would think that there would be, especially with like a real emergency, but there's not. Just fam a family vlogger of like 12 years now, she filmed the process and the death of her own grandmother. She made sure she had a camera on standby to make money off her grandmother's death and then shoved the camera in her kids faces while they were crying. She did a reaction video to her kids crying about their great grandmother passing. That is sick, that is gross. There are no limits with family vloggers. Even in real emergencies, they will always make sure to pull out the camera and it's, it needs to stop, man. It needs to stop. I really hope YouTube does something one day, but uh, who knows? Mm -mm. It's okay. the same old stuff that always is. Uh, it was the same stuff all the time. Oh, so it's the same paperwork all the time, right? Well, that's weird because you just lost a baby. So wouldn't it be different once you receive something different, something else, some form of other paperwork? Because we did when we lost a baby and other people. But why would everything just be normal like it was before? If you lost a baby, is that another red flag? Did they just tell themselves without knowing it? Where's the chaplain as well? When you lose a baby, they have a chaplain come in. You're telling me these religious people did not have a chaplain come in. When you lose a child, it's not a normal day at the hospital. Not at all. So my time has already started clicking down. Let's see what we got six weeks with me too. Is he talking about sex? Six weeks, huh? I think he is. Is he already counting that down? My guy lost a baby. And he's checking the time before he's even home. He's still in the hospital at this point. My guy's counting down the weeks, the days, the hours probably too. The minutes of when he can take mahogany to pound town. That's what he's worried about. Not his baby that just passed. No, of course not. He's not worried about that. Just wow, man. This all is just getting worse. And, you know, more obvious. Why is Justin this like little perv? He just seems like this little pervert. You know what I mean? And it makes no sense because he's a pastor, right? Well, actually, maybe it does make sense because a lot of pastors are scummy. You better go on schedule there. Yeah, you know, because Justin can't, apparently can't control himself, can't contain himself. He's thinking about pleasure in a time of loss, which makes no sense because when you lose a baby, 
And again, this is from experience. You don't think about that at all, especially a woman. Behind is over there getting uh, baby boy's clothes out of his bag. Oh, here we go. So I told him about this one with the baby clothes. We'll get to that in a second. So I wanted to touch up on her um, hospital bracelets or bands, whatever you call them. She only has like two, one for her and one for the baby. One baby, not two. So where'd the other one go? Did you decide to cut that one off because the other one, you know, didn't make it? Nah, man, you would have a hard time taking that one off, queen. I'm just saying. Well, of course I brought up two sets, but. Yes, of course she did, because you apparently were having twins, right? I need the one set. Well, she just casually says, yeah, I only need the one set. Me and my wife had our closet full of our son's stuff. And when he passed and we went, we finally went back home, we couldn't open up that door for weeks because seeing everything would have broke us down. But you know, she just casually says, of course I brought two sets, but you know, I only need the one. If anyone believes this, man, you really need to go get your brain checked. <laughs> Okay. So what I will say is that Justin Mahogany kind of thought a couple of things out. So with this scene, what they're doing is trying to imply that they have two sets of the same outfit for both twins, but one didn't make it. So they're only going to use one. But if you look at the clothes, because it's obvious, one is bigger than the other. They are two different sizes. You know why? They didn't know how big their baby was going to be. So they got one size smaller, one size bigger. That's what they did. But they're trying to imply that they were for both babies. No, they just didn't know the exact size. But, you know, nice try. I got pacifier clip, maybe too. But APOC, there's two pacifiers in that package. Yeah, that doesn't mean it was for two babies. If you go to the store and you go buy like pacifiers or whatever, or baby clips, whatever those were, they always sell those things in packs of two. So I just finished changing. So let's note because a lot of people question as to why they're blurring out their son's face. It's because they're saving his face for clickbait. They're going to do like a reveal or whatever. And they're building up content and other clickbait until that point in time. I saw some people within their comment section, you know, the blind sheep. The weirdos that just don't want to accept that their favorite YouTubers are liars and deceivers and manipulators and gaslighters that the reason why they blurred their kid's face was because they want to protect his privacy and didn't want anybody to kidnap him like what what are you talking about man that actually happening is so small but no that's not what they're doing they're saving his face for a reveal video to make more money they are going to milk this baby dry you know like justin's testosterone count and you know if they were protecting the child's privacy what about their other kids they show all their face they show the layout of their home. They give like a blueprint to their life for some online weirdos. Oh uh, yeah, the fire alarm is still going off. I don't know what's going on. Make sure everything's fine out here, y'all. Not that he actually cares about other people. Alrighty, y'all. So get ready to put them on in. Okay. Car seat. Where's the other car seat? Shouldn't they have two? Again, their room is very empty for people who are apparently gonna have two babies. I mean, they just take it to the car. There'll be no need for that. You know what I mean? They're gonna get another one order. They am glad I can take it back on the target. Oh well, no, it came as a set of two. Since when did car seats come in a set of two? I've never heard about that ever. This is just so obvious that they're making up. Where's the other car seat? Is it in the car? Well, we'll see when they get in there, huh? I'm gonna be using this one. I would probably get a, a car seat just for them. Just casually talking about it though. You know what I mean? They had two car seats. They're going home now and only going home with one baby and one car seat. They'll be breaking down if they actually lost a full term baby. Huh? They barely want to bring them to me because they didn't discharge me. They don't want to do nothing. Else. Well, I want some grand, them grand car because Gucci told me to bring me some peanut butter too. Man, it's crazy. Justin always seems to be in high spirits, huh? She said that they discharged her, so they don't want to do anything for her. Mm, well, if you lost a baby, they would. But you know, it is quite funny how much they want them gone. They were probably a nuisance the entire time. We ain't, you ain't been at the house in a minute, right? Yeah, been... I ain't either. I, yeah, I didn't even get a chance to make it back either, y'all. So if he hasn't been home, where's the other car seat? Only one car seat in the room. Uh, oh, first trip home. Well, I don't see the other car seat. No, oh, that big booty. Oh my god. Oh man, Justin just cannot control himself at any time, can he? He always has to be inappropriate and gross. Getting the dough. Woo! Okay, so there are some car seats behind her, but from what it looked like, there was two of them, and that's like a third row in their car. So that's just for the other twins or something, right? Uh, you doing that back uh, in the back seat? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm doing good. Just lost a baby, but I'm doing good. Good to be out of the hospital. I know that much. You know, me and my wife hated leaving the hospital. I mean, we were happy that we were going home, but like within our own comfort. But we were hating leaving because we had to leave our son there. We had to give him to somebody else. We hated leaving him. But they're just peachy. They're just fine. They're doing good, man. It's great, you know. God, man. 
This is just so disgusting. I just don't understand why people will do this. But you know, I'm not greedy, so. Right, you leave it up here, cook, cook. It's gonna be Bojangles with a good old butter biscuit on the side. I suggest maybe laying off the butter biscuits. Okay, right there. Two car seats, see? But they're just for like the third row. They're for the other twins. And what is like the one the new baby is in? The, that car seat? Is that just one of the other twins? Car seats? They even get new car seats for the third set of twins? Someone recommended that we start, what did they say that it was called? A, a meal train. Meal train. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So we did start that, so it is in the description box. My God. Every video just gets worse. They're begging for more money. They're asking you to buy them lunch, to buy the meals. And you know what? They're using the sympathy card to do it because they just lost a baby and they're following and their community is going to feel bad for them. So they're going to give them money, their harder money, to donate and to buy the meals. Don't do that do not donate to justin mahogany they are scamming you out of money they are scammers i know i can't stand up right now can't cook. okay well i'm afraid god i'm afraid god anoint them legs wow justin your wife just had a baby for one just in general let's ignore the loss but your wife just had a baby. She should be resting you should be cooking for her actually because she just gave birth to your baby and you're already wanting her to cook for you you're already thinking about yourself justin you are one of the most selfish greedy people i have ever seen on this platform truly and i've seen a lot of people on this platform i've covered a lot of uh, so-called content creators but justin is one of the worst his wife just had a baby and he's already thinking about having sex and he's already thinking about, well, what's for dinner? And he's too lazy to make his wife a home cooked meal and said he'll get Bojangles. He's just a horrible partner in general. But if you add on that she just lost a baby, it makes it so much worse. So, so much worse because you're basically expecting your wife to cook you meals when she gets home after she just had a baby and lost a baby at the same time. No wonder she looks dead inside. She's sick of him. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I wish I had some good old mac and cheese. Y'all gotta put Maybe cook, Justin. Maybe stop being so lazy and cook for your wife who just gave birth to your baby and apparently lost your baby too. Maybe cook for her. Maybe do something for her for once instead of thinking about yourself. I want to learn how to make macaroni and cheese, baked beans, meatballs, candy yams. That's what I'm on. You know, that sounds good. He's not going to try to learn how to make it now. He'll make mahogany do it, you know, after she just gave birth. Somebody should have just called and said, hey, I'm going to come make that y'all have it ready for you. Man. Listen, where, where are them true friends? Well, kind of like Kira from OK Baby. Y'all are toxic as hell. So everyone probably ran away from you. So one thing about that pain, it'll sneak up on you like a thing for the night. So we're on the way to get her medication. So she needs to go get pain meds, but he wants her to stand up and cook. So yeah, y'all, I got four different prescriptions because your good sis whew, just got a lot of prescriptions. So I'm sure that went over people's heads right there. But what she just did was imply that the reason why she's getting prescriptions was because she lost a baby. But that's not what it is. Just a little bit ago, Justin was talking about pain. The reason why she has pain is because she just had a baby. It has nothing to do with the so-called loss. She's just getting regular payments after having a baby. That's all it is. But she's implying that it's because of the loss. That's why she just couldn't get out the words. Nonetheless, we got them all so that I can be feeling good moving around. So basically, she got the pain meds so she can cook and clean for Justin. Alrighty, guys. We have officially made it back to the house. Oh, I'm just so happy for them because they've been through so much. Justin, Marcel, Mateo, Milo to meet their new baby brother. So this should be interesting. So this it will be interesting? I mean, sure. But, I mean, they're going to question where the other twin is, right? Because by all the clickbait and conversations y'all were having, I'm assuming they know that this is supposed to be a third set of twins. So it's not going to be a sad moment you telling your children that their brother died. I'm assuming that it was another boy, right? So it's not going to be sad or upsetting or just a hard moment that you're going to tell your children that their sibling did not make it. No, it's just going to be interesting. Make sure you got your push notifications on. Yeah, don't ring their bell. Ring mine. Put your notifications on my channel and I will keep exposing these people. So you can see their first thoughts, their first reactions. Because listen, it, I'm sure it's going to be interesting. Not one lick of sadness. Not one. They are not sad whatsoever. It's just going to be interesting, man. It's just going to be interesting seeing our children react to us bringing only one twin home instead of the other. And us having to tell them that the other one didn't make it. It's not going to be hard. It's not going to be frustrating. 
We're not going to cry. No, we're going to smile because it's going to be interesting. Yeah, again, if you believe the Jacksons of Atlanta, you are out of your mind. Anyways, all you jealous haters to conclude this video. So before I go, I wanted to break down one more quick little video. And it was from Mahogany's channel where she basically filmed the same thing just with like some other filler. It was bringing the baby home. It was the same thing, just like more of her perspective. And it's like, how did you do that? Did you just like film one scene and just film it all over again? I don't understand. I don't know. They do that a lot where they have like duplicate videos on multiple channels. They're here to make money, man. They're here to make money. That's all there is to it. But let's see what this other one is. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. The fact that she just lost a baby and she's still in the hospital and she's able to film this speaks volumes. Make sure you guys get There's the plug. Y'all, I, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I did not even want to record for my channel. Then why did you? Nobody asked you to. Nobody forced you to. Why are you doing this? If you just lost a baby, people would understand why you want to be uploading to your channel, to any of your social medias. Actually, they would understand. But instead, you upload to every channel, which is like multiple, which is like four, I think. And then you have all your Instagrams where you all constantly post. Again, nobody asked you to do that. Nobody wants you to do that, especially if you're struggling and suffering through the pain of child loss. But you're not, are you? No, you're not because y'all are liars. But again, if you didn't want to post it, then why did you? Oh, yeah, money. But I said, I love you guys and I wanted to just bring you guys something from this experience. I thought they didn't owe anyone anything. Oh, but she felt like sharing her experience with her community because she loves them. Telling me you're emotionally manipulating without telling me. Um, I love you. We're a community. We built this over here. Yeah, you guys are family. You're all friends in a community that stick together, but they're the only ones that receive all the money and meals and gifts and benefits. And everyone else gets nothing but a feel good moment. My body feels so weird. It feels so weird because I don't have a big stomach anymore. I don't know. I don't know. You think your body would feel weird because you just had a baby or, you know, maybe you lost a baby. You lost a part of yourself. That's why you might be feeling weird. But no, it's just because she had the baby. That's it. It's not the loss. It has nothing to do with the loss at all. I hope you guys have just enjoyed my whole um, labor, delivery, postpartum hood. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Why would they enjoy it if you lost the baby, Mahogany? That doesn't make any sense. And why are you saying that? Did you enjoy it? Because why else would you say that? I hope you just enjoyed this whole just experience um, with me. Now I'm just going to go spend some time with my kids. Yeah, you should have been doing that anyways. Why is she saying she hopes that people enjoyed this whole journey and experience? She just lost a baby. Why would people be excited about that? You know, it's the first day home. So I really just want to spend time with everybody and just be in the midst of everyone. I feel all the love and just soak it up. Okay, enough of this garbage. If you want to go soak in all the love with your family, then put down the camera and go be with them. It's that simple. You didn't even feel like recording this, right? So put down the camera and go be with your family. Spend time with your family. You just lost a baby, right? In fact, why is she away from a new baby? That doesn't make any sense. Shouldn't she be a little extra attached to said baby because she just lost its twin? I don't know. Like I said, I just think it keeps getting worse. I think with each video that I break down, it just more and more comes out. Justin's a little lying perv and Mahogany's lying, obviously, and she looks dead inside. You know, that's due to Justin. And like I said, I would feel bad if she wasn't like going along with it, going along with the horrible lie. It's just a line you don't cross, man. Especially as a father who lost a child, I can't sympathize with her. I don't sympathize with him. They both are horrible for what they're doing. But anyways, if you guys want these people to be exposed further, don't forget to like the video. It does so much for the channel and videos. Again, you guys have no idea what engagement does. Comment down below your thoughts too. Please, I would love to hear them. And subscribe if you're new. We're going to keep doing this. Comment down below and I will catch you guys on the next one. Okay, bye.